Hi everyone I hope you all are doing good in this tutorial I am going to discuss deck data structure so we are going to learn what is java deck its properties and also we will write some java code to explore its methods so let's start with the deck data structure so uh, what is deck deck is an acronym for double ended queue so it's a queue which support insertion and deletion of elements from both ends so if you imagine a queue where we can insert and remove the elements from both end from uh, either from tail or head so i either you can perform insertion let's say from tail and deletion uh, from from the head which acts as a queue or you can insert from the head and also you can remove the elements from that end so it acts as a stack so the last point is because it supports insertion and deletion from both ends we can use them as a stack which is last in first out data structure or as a queue which is first in first out data structure so i mean i already uh, explained i mean we can perform both the insertion and deletion from both the ends so in queue we insert we enqueued or you can say insert element from one end and we delete the element from another end so 5 is inserted first then 3 then 2 then 1 then 8 then 9 so in queue when we remove the element 5 will be removed first then the pointer will move to this element will point to this element and then the 3 so it's a first in first out data structure and in stack the element which we pushed at last is the first element to be popped out so 5 is pushed first then 3 then 2 then 1 8 and 9 now the head pointer will points at this index and when we have to delete the element or remove the element 9 will be removed first so this is how we can uh, i mean either we can use them as a queue or a stack i mean deck support insertion and deletion from both the ends so we can use this property now you will get more clarity when we write its java code deck is an interface and array deck and linked list implements the behavior of deck interface and deck is a queue so it extends the queue interface it means we can use all the queue methods when we are working with deck queue extends the collection so basically it's a collection and collection extends the iterable it means we can iterate over the collection now we have covered enough theory let's write some java code and explore the deck data structure let's write some java code so i have uh, to save the time i have already uh, written the code and we will go through each and every method so we have already discussed that uh, the deck is an interface and array deck and link list implements this interface so to create an object we need to use array deck or link list with new keyword so here i have created an object array deck and it's of type uh, basically we have created an object of uh, this array deck class and the another one is link de uh, link deck and we have created an object of link list i mean uh, here we have used the link list class the difference is the array deck is a dynamic array internally it use an array and it use it uses the link list so it's a dynamic array and initially it allocates some size and whenever it reaches up to 70 or 80 percent it resizes itself and link list you know basically it's a collection of nodes and it's allocate 
I mean it allocates the node dynamically and we don't have to uh, I mean uh, declare uh, I mean uh, we don't have to tell the size when we are creating an object now uh, similarly for this uh, we have not specified the size because when we create an object it internally it, by default if we don't specify it uh, take some size maybe uh, I'm not very sure but it's 16 and here are some operations let's go through it so to add an element in a deck we can use either add uh, which add the element at the end of a queue you know, or offer first or you can and the another other variation is I mean the other method is add first I mean both will add the element at the beginning of a of this doubly ended queue and to I mean these will add at the beginning of a queue and similarly to add the element at the end of a queue we can use this add last or offer last I mean these two method we can use to add the element at the end and uh, also it provides the size method which prints the size uh, I mean uh, let's say here I have added the five elements so it prints uh, the size 5 the another method is peak which prints the element without removing uh, from this data structure so when we uh, I mean let's say the peak method will print the first elements of a uh, first element of a deck similarly peak first will print the first element of a deck without removing it peak last will print the last element of a deck and then uh, these are the uh, remove operations so poll will remove and return the first element of a deck similarly the poll first and the poll last will remove the last element of the deck so these I mean adding the element uh, uh, printing uh, the element without removing it and also removing the element from either end so these are the method which is helpful uh, when you are uh, implementing uh, some business code or maybe solving some problem using uh, this deck data structure now let's see uh, how we can use them as a queue so here I have created an object and the class I'm using is array deck so basically this is an interface and this is array deck so why uh, here I have uh, so this is also a valid I mean if I have written this let's say array deck then it's also a valid why I have written deck because let's say later I want to remove this implementation with linked list I can just simply write here the link list and I don't have to change anything because link list and array deck both are implementing this interface I mean so these methods are uh, these uh, in deck interface uh, this is the methods are defined without their actual interface uh, without their actual implementation and array deck and link list class both classes implements this method so if here I have specified that uh, this is of uh, deck interface so I can use any of the classes right so Q is a first in first out data structure so first let's say we uh, in Q we are inserting from one end let's say from the rear end and we have inserted 5 7 9 so first we have inserted 5 then 7 then 9 now when we do let's say removal from other end from the head the first element which remove is 5 then 7 then 9 so to validate this let me run this code
and uh, so it's running so see th this and when we are removing 5 is removed first then 7 then 9 now let's see uh, how we can use them as a stack again we are inserting from one end so first when we push let's say 5 we are inserting uh, we inserted 5 at the beginning now when we inserted 7 5 is pushed then 7 then 9 and again we have pushed uh, uh, I mean we are inserting uh, f from the head and also we are removing the element from the head so first we have inserted 5 7 and 9 so 9 is inserted at last so in stack stack is the last and first out data structure the element which we inserted at last is the first element to be removed so when we do the pull first it will remove the element from the beginning of a deck so it will remove 9 first then 7 then 5 so let me run this code and you can see so see 5 is inserted first then 7 then 9 and we are inserting uh, from the head then when we have removed 9 is removed first then 7 then 5 now let's uh, do one problem and before that let's see the traversal also traversal means basically how we can traverse the element present in this data structure so we have inserted 8 9 10 so in deck we have these three elements now we have to iterate over it so either we can use the iterator so remember when i uh, saw the interface hierarchy and class diagram the topmost interface is the iterator which indicates we can iterate over this collection so one way is by using iterator another way is by using the for each statement so these three elements are inserted and by using either iterator or for each you can simply print the element present in this data structure so now uh, this iterator part is clear uh, clear let's move to a very simple problem so we have given a string and we have to check whether this string is a palindrome or not so basically palindrome means uh, when we read this string from forward either from forward or backward direction it remains same so nitin if we reverse them and see from other side as well it is same as nitin so it's a palindrome but java is not a palindrome so how we can solve this problem using deck so this is just for explanation purpose you don't have to use the deck data structures to solve this problem Be basically the efficient way is to uh, uh, take two pointers and check whether this is a palindrome or not it just uh, for explaining this deck data structure i mean you don't have to uh, use this data structure to solve this problem because it requires additional space so what i am doing here is so we are taking this string and we are uh, i mean we are putting them in a deck so basically we take each character and we inserted them in a deck then i mean deck allows us to insert or delete element from both end so we take we remove the element from head and tail end so basically when we inserted let's say java so it is inserted something like th this j then a then v then a then when we are doing this so we are removing from head so j is removed when we are removing from tail let's say this a is removed uh, sorry this a is removed now we are comparing j and a is 
not equal these two characters are not equal so it's not a palindrome and now let's say what if it's the case of Nitin then so it is inserted like this n i t i and n so first is n then this is n right so it is equal now we are left with i then t i n because we are using pole so it will uh, sorry uh, i it will remove the element also so now this pole first will be i and this is also i so after that we return true and this condition is because we are removing two elements so we have to make sure that its size is greater than one at least there is two element so i hope uh, uh, this tutorial help you to grasp the concept of deck data structure and that's it for this video tutorial please like and share this video tutorial and also uh, if you like this tutorial please subscribe our channel and thanks for watching this tutorial thank you